Well, hey there guys, what's going on? I got another video here for you tonight. It's going to be something a little bit different. It's going to be tips and tricks with the Peterson pry bars. Got them right here. They come in two different sizes. They come in thick and thin. The thin one on the left is 40 thousandths thick. And the thick one is going to be 50 thousandths thick. For the demonstrations I'm doing tonight, I'll be using the thin one. So we'll get that out of the way. And the lock I'm going to be demonstrating all this stuff on is from Sesame. It's going to be the 551 Sesame. It's all brass. Brass body padlock. There's a look at the specs on the back. Actual number is 55110. And yeah. So a lot of times when people uh, start off lock picking. They start off picking easy locks and they progress up to what's known as American padlocks. And this lock is going to be the stand-in for American padlocks. It's very similar in size. It's got the exact same keyway. And it does have serrated pins in it and spool pins in it. So there's a look at the keyway. And a lot of times what will happen, and I'll try to do a lot of picking in this video, so hopefully everything works right. With these locks, what will happen is you see that little cut out there on the bottom of the keyway? Most lockpick sets will come with standard bottom of the keyway tension wrenches. What happens is you get this set up to go bottom of the keyway. You get that in there. And because of that little cutout that I showed you earlier, this tension wrench will bind up in the bottom of the keyway. Just like that. It's, it's stuck in there. It's wedged in there. And that takes away from your plug so you can't really put tension on the plug can't put transfer the tension to the key pins and driver pins so there's a couple different solutions to this some people say use a put a paper clip in there i don't like doing that uh some of the south ward kits come with this it's an 18 thousandths bottom of the keyway tension wrench you can slide that in there on the bottom and Put your standard tension wrench in there on the side, just like that. And you can pick locks just like this with this setup. Go ahead and demonstrate that now for you. I'll be using a slimline hook from Southward. And hopefully this goes quick. Because I don't want this video to run too long. Got a lot of stuff to demonstrate. So you get that set up, get your pick in there. Get the right camera angle. Got a little click out of, I think, five, something out of four. Increase my tension just a little bit. Click out five. A little bit of kind of rotation there. <clears throat> Another click out of something. And basically these locks are pickable. I did a uh, release, give and take on my tension wrench. Felt like I dropped into a false set. Another click. So what makes these locks kind of hard to pick like this is they have serrated pins in them. And when you have serrations, using bottom of the keyway tensioning can be somewhat kind of difficult. But I do want to get this lock picked open like this to show you that it can be done. It is doable, and with a little practice, it's not too bad. So, like I said, there's another click. Most people start out picking, and they come to these locks, and they their bottom of the keyway tension wrench just gets wedged up in there, and they have a tough time picking these locks. There it is, picked open, using the two uh, tension wrench method, bottom of the keyway. So it is doable. Go ahead and get this all set back up and we'll talk about using the Peterson pry bar. It's locked up, that turned, unlocked, relock them, and we are locked up, ready to go for our next demonstration. What makes it a little bit easier is using the Peterson pry bar, and these things are pretty versatile. So you can use it several different ways. I'll show you the most typical way most people use it. You set it up here, top of the keyway tensioning. 
just like that. Get that guy set in there. And boy, everything goes to hell when you turn on a camera. All right, gun set up there, top of the keyway tensioning. And most people will tension with their thumb. And that's cool. You can use just a standard short hook, come off the bottom of the keyway. And hopefully I'll get this guy picked open fairly quickly. Um, and this makes it handy because you can, if you get used to this, the serrations, you're tensioning much, much closer to them. So versus bottom of the keyway, you're much, much closer to the action, if you will. So you can feel a whole lot more. And again, it does take some practice. One of the things I've noticed, you got it picked open, is as you're picking the pins, that first pin will hide right next to that tension wrench. So as you pick, when you first get used to it, you'll be on your tension wrench, and you'll knock it out of the lock or whatever. But it just takes a little bit of a while to get used to it, and you just got to remember that first pin likes to hide right by that tension wrench. So there it is, picked open, using top of the keyway tensioning. Go ahead and lock him back up here. That's one method. You can use a Peterson pry bar. And the method I prefer using is I'll turn it over just like this and put it in top of the keyway tensioning. Just like that. And then I'll use it inverted. So that now my index finger now has to provide the tensioning. And that is very familiar to my muscles because I'm used to using bottom of the keyway tensioning. You tension it with your index finger. And again, you can use a standard hook. It doesn't take up much real estate inside the keyway when you use it this way. Got to click out of something. Another click out of something. And again, that first pin likes to hide up there by that tension wrench. So it does take a while to get used to it. Sometimes, like I said, you'll be on your tension wrench when you think you're on your first pin. It's okay, though. You'll get used to it. See if I can get this lock open. And so, yeah, I just started using my tension wrench this way. Because I like the idea of using my index finger, keeping everything the same or close to the same if I can. One drawback is if you have paracentric keyways, sometimes you can't do this. Let's try to get this lock open here. Lots of crunching going on. And let's see here. And I don't know. Just started using it this way and have liked it ever since. Let's see here. I'm not focusing very much. Lots of crunching. I'm oversetting something. I think it's that first pen. It likes to be shoved way up there. A little bit of crunching in back. There we go. Got deep ball set off pen number one. Coming off of pin number five now, out of my false set, and we are open. So you can use it that way, top of the keyway, inverted. You can also go top of the keyway and go counterclockwise, and you be tensioning with your thumb. I really need a step of the pace here. Get this set up. And it doesn't... You know, it's, you got a little tiny gap there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, you can. You can see that gap right there between your pick shaft and your tension tool. So it doesn't really interfere at all with the pick. So you don't get uh, interference with the tension wrench. So if you need to pick a lock counterclockwise, you can. And... I'm not going to use my plug spinner on this this time. I just want to get the guy picked open. Right there's my counter rotation. And we are open in that direction. And then you put your plug spinner in, spin it around. And a couple other methods. 
to using these guys, these Peterson pry bars that I don't see very much. There's a, like I said, on pair centric keyways. Sometimes top of the keyway is not an option. You can use it bottom of the keyway if you need to. You can go in there, catch it just like that, and you can pick it again uh, clockwise if you need to. This time the tension wrench takes up some real estate in the bottom of the keyway, so you might want to use a slimmer hook pick if you can. So just go in here, start pushing up on my pins, get this guy picked open again. You'd think I'd memorize the binding order of this lock, but I didn't. Let me go ahead and rest them up there. Whoops. This does take up a bit of real estate in the bottom of the keyway. So, with every method, it takes a little bit of getting used to. But it can be very, very handy. Get a little bit of crunch in. Nothing. Let's get this guy picked up. So yeah, if you have any trouble locating American locks, sesame locks are a great stand-in. Nothing up front. A little bit something in the back. Something up front, and I think pin number one's going to get us open. There it is, pin number one. So you can use it like that bottom of the keyway tensioning and also these are brass and these are steel so something will happen to you if you practice a lot is you'll wear down the brass and if you do sometimes you have to go you can stick the tension tool all the way in just like that before I think I had it resting right there on that nub but if you wear that nub out you can go all the way in and still have plenty of room to pick the lock you can also go counterclockwise if you need to and again when you pick a lock sometimes going counterclockwise is a better option it does make the lock a little bit easier to pick um, and then you use your plug spinner to spin the core around something on one there there's my false set and let's go in here. I think it's going to be pin number five that gives us the counter rotation. Maybe if I can get it. No. No. Maybe I was wrong. Let's see here. I think it is pin number five. Just going to have difficulty getting it. So it does take a little bit of practice, but if you can get an American lock or a sesame lock, you can practice all different types of these techniques on them, and it'll come in handy later on down the road. I don't think I'm going to get that out. I think I may have to re-release and start again. Let's try that again. Get this set up that way. Basically, the moral of the story is get your Peterson pry bars. You can use it top of the keyway tensioning. And you can use it for bottom of the keyway tensioning. It's a pretty versatile tool. You would think I'd have all this stuff memorized, but I don't. Just started messing with this lock today. I thought, you know, it'd be a good lock to do all these demonstrations on. I think I got it picked open. Let's see. I think I do. I think I... Yeah, there it is. Picked open counterclockwise. And you take your plug spinner, spin them around, and the lock will open up. So, yeah. If you don't have a set of Peterson pry bars, you can go ahead and get them from thinkpeterson.com. And like I said, they come in two different... Uh, sizes i just lost the other one thank goodness they come in pairs i'd pick up like four because i just lost the other one there it is so they come in diff two different sizes 40 thousandths 50 thousandths i don't use the 50 thousandths all that often but they do have it available in that type of thickness 
And like I said, you can get them at uh, thinkpeterson.com. As always, guys, thank you for watching. You guys have a good one.